What is the best revenge you've ever gotten? My brother had just turned 16. Got his license. Got a car from my parents. And trashed his bicycle, because he didn't need it anymore. I was 13 and my bike was what got me around. My brother is an asshole that gets grounded a lot. Grounded from the car too. He would then just help himself to my bike. After many warnings I took matters into my own hands. I loosened the handlebars on my bike. Seeing the handlebars pop off the bike and him eating street was a glorious day in my revenge book. When I was in 7th grade there was a boy who started spreading rumors that I blew him. My revenge may have been a bit too cruel. But I mean. That was a big deal in middle school. I told his mother. I even tid up a little bit for effect when I told her the story. She went home. Beat the shti out of him. And I got a phone call apology. FCKU Evan. Back in college. I lived in the fraternity house and shared a bathroom with several other guys. I noticed my bottle of cologne went dry much faster than it normally did. I started to take my toiletries back to my room since then. Before I did though. I pissed in the empty bottle. Throughout the semester I'd take note of the fill line and how it got lower and lower. I finally told my sweet mates they'd been spraying themselves with my piss after I moved out. TLDR. My old rumored smell like pee. Also. Your cologne is indistinguishable from piss. Our soul manager put me exclusively on night shift when he knew I had a very pregnant wife at home and gave me a poor review despite an inch thick stack of printed emails from customers saying I was awesome. Fast forward 10 years and my wife works in HR, hears a familiar voice next door in a job interview. After the interview my wife pokes her head in and asks was that man's name xxxxx. Dot. It was my old manager. Let's have a chat about him. She says to the interviewer. He didn't get the job. When she told me. I was happy for a month. Mainly because he'd never know it was my wife that completely f-ked him over. I worked in IT at this company. The IT department has its own budget and one particular line item is for chairs. My chair had just broken. So I looked around for one that wouldn't kill my back like the last one did. It was a $400 chair and the budget was already allotted for it. I told the finance guy. Whom took caring of ordering from vendors. The chair I wanted and sent him a link. He said he would order it right away. Two weeks pass and my new chair comes. But it's the exact same model as my last TTY chair. Needless to say I was unhappy. A couple of months go by and the finance guy wants his computer upgraded. Not only does he want an upgrade, but he wants a laptop as well so he can take it home. I then denied his upgrade for two years and when he did finally get a new computer. It was a hand-me-down from another department. TL. Doctor don't FCK with an IT guy's chair order. I am a car enthusiast. And work on my jeep quite often. One asshole in my high school continually f with my car. So one day. I took four jack stands. And a floor jack to school. And during a study hall. I put his car on blocks. And hid the wheels and tires all over campus. The best part was I never got in any trouble. My old neighbor is a dumb crusty asshole that will fly off the handle at any chance he can get. One night he lost it because I parked in front of his house for an hour. We exchanged choice words. A couple times he threatened to kill me. Knowing full well that he's a small business owner. I went home and signed his personal and business email up for thousands of mailing lists. The process was fairly slow at first until I found the FDA mailing list site that will let you sign up to 2000 plus mailing lists. I added his business address to computer security lists. Retail lists. PRN lists. You name it. I was furious when I started the whole process but after 2 hours of this. I had worked myself into a calm. Trans like state. Does the punishment fit the crime? I don't know. But if you are going to be a dumb twat. You deserve to have unfavorable things happen to you. Tricks on you. Do you even know how many local singles he's probably met up with? 
In high school I had an issue with someone stealing my gum out of my backpack. I ended up painting the top piece in each row with the fingernail polish used to stop nail biting. Hilarious. IF KING hit my toe of the corner of a desk. IF KING burned that desk. Revenge is sweet. Edit. Thanks for the reddit gold. Never got gold before. I had the most evil teacher in second grade. She hated the me more than anything. So one day I raised my hand and for about 30 minutes she didn't call on me but I was persistent. My hand got so tired but reluctantly she called on me. I already knew what I was gonna say. I was stretching. She looked at me for 2 seconds then started to shake in anger. You could see goddamn veins on her temple. She put me on red that day. My brother was a massive asshole to me growing up. We moved to a new town and I made friends while he fell into drugs. He tried to keep doing the dickish older brother thing. Finally one night at dinner when he was laughing at me because of something nerdy I said. I just replied I don't give a fck what you think of me. I have friends. The snide look on his face just dropped. I know it sounds like a small thing. But it was a turning point in our relationship. And was extremely satisfying. My ex-wife left me for another guy. This guy was average looking but made good money. Six years later she has five kids. Got fat. Is broke and calls me bitching about how much she can't stand him or her new life. Best thing about this revenge. I didn't have to do a thing. I used to live with a buddy who was dating this chick we didn't get along with. And by we. I mean all our dude friends. She was insecure. Super prissy. And clingy all at the same time. The final straw was when she started inviting herself to guys night and then complaining that all we did was drink beer and play video games. So fast forward to them getting engaged. She practically lived at the house now and it was high time I got a different abode. So. As my parting shot. I gifted my buddy 4 years of playboy. I think it cost me a grand total of $24. Worth every penny. My buddy gets to see tits and she gets volcanically mad every time it arrives. And since the bill comes to me. All I have to do is renew it. Sweet sweet justice. I had a friend that would constantly play really irritating pranks on everyone in our group of friends. One day a few of us had had enough of his bullshit and posted a really ridiculous ad in the M4M section on Craigslist with all of his contact information. For 3 or 4 days straight he got nothing but dudes sending him dick pictures and he couldn't figure out why. When I was around 18. This girl I worked with teased me on a daily basis about how skinny I was and how goofy I was. She was constantly making fun of my silly jokes and the way I related to others. I mean. This shtee was non-stop. One night I had a work party and invited her over. We ended up making out on the couch. We had sx. We ended up getting married and we've been together for around 17 years. As for the revenge. Dude. I put three babies in her belly. They tore her junk up on the way out. Literally. Tore her junk. I watched it happen. Call me skinny again. IF KING DARE YOU. Anyone wanting to read more stories of revenge should head over to our pro revenge and our pater revenge. Two of my favorite subs. So I have one acquaintance who likes to make fun of me in public. A complete asshole. He probably just gets a kick out of it. One day. He is drunk and dizzy at the party and I tell him that I have a cask of amontillado in my basement. We go down. I chain him to a wall and start entombing him alive. Before placing the last stone. I drop a burning torch through the gap. 50 years ago and still have not been caught. When I was in first grade there was a girl in my class that was always mean to me. Don't rightly remember how. One day she got snotty with me on the playground. Need her right in the chest. 5 year old me was a woman beater apparently. X cheated on me. I cleaned myself up. Got a great job and went on to live a happy life. Seriously. Best revenge ever. 
my GF and I are in a very fun relationship and we always like to joke around and prank each other. One time when we were passing by a toddler's section on a department store. She told me she was pregnant. She thought I wasn't ready yet and would freak out. Turned out she was wrong. I was pretty ecstatic about it and she was surprised. She started crying real hard and I thought there was something wrong. Things started coming into my brain like I'm not the father of the child and such. Turned out she was crying because she was so happy that I was ready to commit to her and to a family. But. The other reason was that she pranking me cause she thought I would freak and when she saw my reaction. She couldn't believe it. She felt really bad about what she did and guilt was really eating her up. She was extra nice to me and pampered me that week. I think that's a pretty great revenge. I'm engaged to her now. Colon. Enjoy the hot. Pumping a baby into USX. When you get there. Okay so I have this friend who is a bit of a legend. So basically he was out with a few friends at the pub one night and he noticed that his pint of Guinness went missing when he went to the toilet. He just assumed someone took it mistakenly and ordered another one. Friend goes to bathroom again and comes back and what do ya know his pint is missing again. Dun dun dun. So he says to the guys he'll be back in a few. Comes back acting really distracted. Scanning the room all the time. So his friends are like what are you up to? Oh you'll see. After a few minutes he starts bursting out laughing at this guy across the room who starts puking all over the place while simultaneously throwing a pint of Guinness to the floor. You guessed it. My friend bought another Guinness. Went to the bathroom. Took a shtee in it. And then left it on the bar for the drinks thief to enjoy. I had a girlfriend back when I was younger that I found out cheated on me after we had been dating for almost 2 years. I had worked with her brother and been to her parents house several times while we were dating and I became close to them. Once I found out that she had been cheating and didn't have any intentions of stopping I mailed. That's right. Mailed, pictures of her naked and blowing me to her parents and brother. She came to my apartment severely pissed off and started screaming at me at the top of her lungs. I snatched her purse out of her hands and threw it out the window onto the middle of a busy street. She did not come back upstairs to continue her rant. Whoa. Your thermonuclear war fed that bitch and her bridge. I've talked about this before in another context but it's the best revenge story I have. I used to get paid to write essays for people. I wrote all of this girl's applications essays, 8 schools, but she made all sorts of excuses and ended up only paying a fraction of what she owed me. This girl come from a rich family and spends about $10.000 slash month on her shopping. She could afford to pay me. But she decided to be cheap and not bother paying me. Even though my essays helped her get into a much better school than she expected. I got my revenge though. The school was what I beyond her academic capabilities so she ended up flunking most of her classes and getting kicked out. Ha. Huh. I found out she was cheating on me so I jizzed in her face cream and then fake proposed and threw the ring in a lake. Just spent 30 minutes looking through this thread. Greatest. Thing. My girlfriend cheated on me when I was 22. My best friend took all of her cosmetics out of my bathroom. Threw them into an empty garbage can and lit it all on fire. When she showed up to pick up her stuff he just pointed at the smoking container. Then she left. Probably several hundred dollars worth of stuff. She was super pissed. After a year of dating a sweet guy. We decided to break and he had a new guy move in two weeks later. It was a mutual breakup though kind of was weird as I still lived in the house. I did hope he would be single for a while before getting a new BF but whatever. Then I eventually found out that they were hooking up before we actually called it quits. My revenge was that after learning of my ex's infidelity. I messed with the new BF while my ex worked long hours. My ex thinks he is loyal and are still together. Little does he know. That when they slept together at night. Sometimes my load was in his new BF and essentially. My ex was getting my sloppy seconds. Oh no. A dude from way back. Like public school back. Got rowdy in town and I hadn't seen him for a decade. Back then I was scrawny as straw and little. 
Still a little. But not scrawny no more. Been boxing for some years now, this dude used to make my life a living hell. Punched that moth earthker out in one go, ran from the cops. Never heard a word from him. Nor the cops since. Made a kid eat his parents in the form of chili. Oh. And his favorite band laughed at him. In first grade a kid kept making fun of me every day at recess. Despite me telling him to stop. One day I was in the sandbox and he mocked me. I'd had enough. I grabbed a handful of sand and shoved it down his pants. He didn't call me names after that. Comma and then he died. That's some end of Wigan's tea. Right there. Kid in school who was a royal pain in the ass. And I hated. Left after grade 7. I heard he was planning to come to the same summer camp that a bunch of us were going to after grade 8. So I called him up pretending to be another kid in our class, told him I had a cold, and gave him the wrong dates for camp. He spent two weeks at camp by himself. Follow up. No he just took my word for the dates. And the guy was a bully so don't feel sorry for him. I heard a couple of years later he was out to beat me up but I have never run into him. Should also point out this was over 30 years ago now and the guy I pretended to be. And I. Continue to be close friends. Being happy without my ex. This one sales guy at our company was a dick. He was a typical scummy salesman, nice to your face but a slime behind your back. Well. I'd taken his abuse for too long, as the IT guy, and one late night I did something about it. I took his phone handset, he worked in the office, and put it in my swamp ass and rubbed it all around my butthole. I picked the pubes off of it and put it back on the receiver. Every time he'd talk to me I'd ask him to speak up and he never knew he was talking into my ass juice. <laughs>